Good day, it is Stephen Davis here and in this video I want to show you a workaround around the fact that you cannot uh, get Windows 11 to shuffle uh, the pictures and to show the pictures randomly. So this is actually, as I say, a workaround. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. In this workaround you make use of the fact that in Explorer you can view the pictures in various ways, especially the details, and when you have the details, you can arrange the pictures in various ways. As I say, look at date from front last to first, the name you can type, okay, it's only one type, but it changes there and as well as the size. This method also has its limitations in that it doesn't change the randomness on its own. You will have to change the randomness every time as you want to, but it has a purpose in depending on what you want to use it for. For example, in my case, I teach my grandson music and sometimes I want to show him just the notes uh, in different order or how to how it must be played. And also sometimes I'm teaching him forms in math. So then I want to throw the forms around so that the, there's form and add forms. So what you do then basically is you can, as I said, you change it, the name. And when you start there, for example, here's the books, then it start there. What you simply can do is then just go to your Windows slideshow. And when you last ended it, there it will continue. Stop it now, go and arrange it another way. Here, simply on pay the basis of the name, you change it around, start with Apple, click on Apple, and you click on Apple, and then uh, want to have a slideshow, you see the Apple starts there, and uh, it will then continue from on that basis, because the slideshow starts on the photo that you have it on and you start clicking it, okay? Another way uh, that you can arrange it, let's exit here, is for example the date. Now you put the date there. Changely, you can put the date and the, it's, the, it's in from, from the uh, latest date to the earliest, from the earliest to the latest. Let us uh, just start here, maybe at the earliest here, click on it. And here you see again, there's another, of course, you can put the slideshow, set slideshow. And there you will see the order of the slides differ where, how it appears. Another way is, you, you, if you have various types, P, uh, uh, PNG photos or whatever, you can type in type will arrange. You can go in size also, the largest file, slideshow, you can see it down under. Okay, this is seen more or less everywhere. Um, slideshow, put in your slideshow, and there it continues automatically, or depending if you want to set it. But there's also other ways that you can add if you want to continuously use this function. Put your cursor here on the top line and right click. And in right click you see all the elements you can tick it to, to view. I ticked elements that doesn't change it like attributes, authors, auto summary. These may be things that I have to input, but if you have videos or film photos that you downloaded or from the family, you do not necessarily type in things. So I selected elements and want to propose elements that is inherent to the photo itself and changes based on the photos. A thing like, for example, the bitrate. Bitrate is a uh, those things change depending on the lighting, etc. Where you when you take the photo, then also another one is exposure. Exposure. 
how the exposure time oh, long the camera is open then another one is ISO it's ISO the ISO speed because these are elements that are determined by the individual photo the camera and the environment when it was taken so there is a great possibility that these elements will differ and then also aperture the max aperture I'll max aperture they click it okay you will see these elements are not there for photos I downloaded from the internet however it may be there in photos that you have and taken yourself just to mention these are public domain pictures I want to show you now in when I activate these elements in the specific directory um, of private pictures that I took don't be surprised if it appears like there's nothing because if you uh, these things are arranged in a specific format and you will see the if you go down perhaps here are th th elements Here are individual differences where these elements are not the same. For example, the exposure timing. So then you can, another way that you want to do is just maybe um, rearrange the exposure time. It does take a little bit of time. But there it is. A, a different way the exposure time is being um, set to the ISO speed. You can switch also the maximum aperture time. That is the way then how you can create your own shuffle and random pictures. I must just emphasize that uh, this is a workaround and not necessarily uh, the ideal situation. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.